that is going on in the world today, it may seem to many of you an impossible task to demand or provide such intelligibility, equity, equity and justice. Yet, over the past few years, all of you have developed the tools to make such demands and to foster and sustain such a responsibility. Now comes your turn to build on this commitment and to pursue your own objectives. So, on behalf of faculty and staff in the school, I'm sad to see all of you leave us, but I'm also very happy to know that you are all prepared for the next challenging yet rewarding phase of your lives. Again, congratulations to all of you. Well done and my best. Thank you so much, Fred, for those remarks. Now we'd like to uh, encourage everyone to write your favorite SFU memory in the chat and everyone who enters their memory in the chat will be entered in to win a prize from the SFU so Alumni Association. So as you all do that, me and Samad are gonna share some of our favorite memories at SFU. So my favorite memory, one of them, there's so many to choose from, but um, I was studying on the sixth floor, which was my favorite study spot. And I was studying there for a good 12 to 13 hours writing a paper. And we were there till two in the morning and we obviously had buckets of coffee from Renaissance because it's the best on campus. And we just were there all night writing our paper. It finished a 13 page paper <laughs> in a day. So that was one of my favorite memories at SFU and just all the friends that we met there was amazing. What about you, Smud? Uh, Lindsay, like uh, I would say same, like I have similar experience. So, uh, you know, the, in the library, the second floor computer lab that has two monitors, right? So in my second year, I actually discovered that lab I, I used to think that it's just designated for some classes or something, so I never used to go in. But like one time, my friend just took me there, and I was like, oh my god, two <laughs> screens, you can use it, and you can be here anytime, and it's 24-7 in exam time, and it has air conditioning in summer, so it's like, oh my god, and right now, air conditioning is really important, so it's like, oh. So I, I would just sit there, finish my paper, and one time I remember like going there around sunset time, and coming out of there when sun was rising because I had to finish this communication paper and gladly I got A in it, but like, it was amazing to know, like it's such a great experience. And yeah. another memory that is like really close to me kind of and kind of scary to me as well is that uh, I used to live in uh, SFE resident townhouses uh, in my third year, second or third year, I don't remember perfectly. But one time I woke up and I was like, okay, yeah, I'm gonna go to my class and my CA, which is community advisor calls me. I was like, Samad, you are going to go for your class, right? I'm like, yeah, just about to, yeah, don't go. I'm like, what? Yeah, you are not supposed to step outside. There's a bear outside. You're not supposed to step out. That's the guideline you're going to stay inside. I'm like, what can I see? It's like, no, you're not going to see. Just stay inside till I call you back. And actually like from my window, I was able to see the bears with a huge bear. And I was like, that's the first encounter and I can't go out. Like I was happy that, yeah, I'm going to get late to, to the class because oh, yeah, why, why should we go to class maybe? <laughs> but yeah, that was an amazing experience. Yeah, for sure. It's the key when you find your good study spot and everything as well. I'm hearing that in the chat as well. And also people staying, Jody Baker's class, him showing us his Instagram. I, I remember that as well. <laughs> that was a good one. A couple of people are staying Steve Malik's class as well. I was in his class last summer as well. Such a great class. Yeah, that was great. And the avocado statue, always a classic as well. <laughs> oh, definitely. Awesome. But people are definitely saying it looks like that. It was just meeting new people and meeting a lot of new friends. That was really what changed their university time. So. That's so nice to hear. That's awesome. <laughs> what did you meet some lifelong friends, Matt? Oh yeah, it's like right one is right here, Kaylee. Like uh, we met uh, in a business class, and when I started class, I was like, uh, we were like engaged in some of the campaigns, and I was like, yeah, yeah we are gonna be best friend at the end of the class, <laughs> and now we are here. We are graduating together, and. We have done so many great campaigns together and a lot of works together. And I'm definitely going to say he's one of my best friends. That's awesome. Nice. And Kiko saying that joining the peak changed my life and the concerts, jam sessions, socials. I loved every minute of it. That's awesome. It's really what I, my university experience changed when I started joining clubs for sure, because SFU is such a commuter school. It really made a difference once you started joining all those clubs or staying for those extra labs and stuff like that. And yeah, the communication oh, yeah, definitely. faculty was yeah. such a sweet knit. Everyone knows each other and 
that was what was so nice about it as well. Yeah, yeah it's like a, as an international student, the community that SFU provided me was really, really awesome and really important part of my life because like coming here all alone, not knowing anyone and English as a second language, I was like, okay, first year, first semester, I was like really shy to even speak up. And now I'm here hosting events. So it's like that much of a transfer, uh, transformation didn't happen just because of I was studying and doing good in my academic. It was because of the community support and all the good things that the SFE communication department and SFE itself provided me. It helped me grow as a leader as well. So I'm really thankful for that. For sure. That's awesome. That's so nice. There's so many great memories in the chat. It's awesome to see. Let's see if we can see another one. Um, Jess says, my first birthday away from home, I spent eight hours teaching. My students celebrated my birthday in each one of my three sections and made me feel so loved. It's a memory I will never forget. That's awesome. Very nice. Steve's Malik classes were always the, my best. He is amazing and really encourages young talent. Yeah, for sure. He was one of the coolest teachers I've definitely had at SFU. Um, I did a 50 page paper. <laughs> it was a group project and it was 50 pages with him. So last summer was a bit of a grind with that class, but it was one of the coolest papers we did because we did uh, study group, like focus groups and everything. So that was really cool to do. Yeah, Jody's classes were the best. Someone saying, so glad I met you, Smod. There you go. <laughs> That's Kaylee, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's like I remember doing one of those. Uh, I think fifty-page paper for some professor Baron Hawk, I believe, who is right here. Uh, yeah, it was a group 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 project. Like so, we were like five people, so it wasn't that crazy. But like, yeah, it was a great experience. We I actually learned so much uh, from that class. And afterwards, I was thinking like, what should be my master thesis if I want to enroll into masters uh, afterwards? And I'm actually like uh, working on ideas right now to start my application in October. Nice. So I will come back for some recommendations and letters and everything to some professors who are right here. <laughs> As if you can't get rid of you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, they can't. Another memory, I met amazing community members at the Soka Club who've turned into friends. So that's also a great memory. Memory met so many new people from different countries and learned so much history and all. That's awesome. Nice. Yeah, there was such diversity. I remember on my first day, I was with um, two girls from Bangladesh in my orientation group. And that was really cool to meet them. And I'm still friends with them today. So that was really nice. Awesome. Yes, congrats to Byron and Darren. You both look so distinguished in your robes. <laughs> you guys look great. <laughs> awesome. It's so nice hearing everyone's memories. Studying in the dining hall 24 <laughs> seven. Oh yeah, that's uh, yeah. Dining hall is a great experience. You don't go there for food. I would say you go there for <laughs> meeting with your friends, company and everything. And it's 24 seven, you can just stay there. They won't allow you to sleep there, but you can just stay there all night. <laughs> the benefits of it being open 24 <laughs> seven. Lots of library hangouts, like Mo you're saying here and everything. That's awesome. Nice. Okay, well, thank you for everyone for sharing those memories and we will be announcing the winner of that soon. So thank you so much. And thank you for sharing those amazing memories. We are now going to share some more remarks and well wishes from the School of Communications faculty and staff. In just a sec. <laughs> Hey everyone, my name is Zoe Druick. I'm the director of the School of Communication and on behalf of all the faculty and staff, I'd like to congratulate you on your accomplishment today and to wish you all the best. Stay in touch. Hey communication grads, it's Richard Smith, professor in the School of Communication. Most of you won't even know what I look like unless, uh, but you may have taken my online courses 253 and 453. Either way, Congratulations on graduating. I uh, really proud of you and I hope you have a fantastic career ahead of you. Best of luck in the future. Hi everyone. My name is Liesl Jarrock from SFU's Communication Co-op Program and I just want to say congratulations to each and every one of you. I've had an 
opportunity to get to know and work with and learn from many of you during co-op. And I just want to say all the best as you move forward during these incredible times. Congratulations. Hi everyone, my name is Sammy, third and fourth year academic advisor. Congratulations to all of you. This is such a special day to celebrate all of your hard work and determination it took to arrive at this huge achievement. Congratulations and all the best in your bright future. Hello everyone. Uh, my name is Ahmed Rawi. I'm a faculty at the School of Communication. I would like to congratulate all of you for your uh, graduation. It's a uh, and the great success uh, that uh, you've uh, achieved. Uh, I wish you all the best. Uh, please remember this is the first step. There will be so many other steps in your uh, life and career. So uh, uh, keep up the good work. Hopefully we will meet again in the near future. And please do take care of yourself. And this is also from my cat. She also says congratulations. See you, everyone. Congratulations, graduates. The nice thing about a Zoom ceremony is you get to bring your dog. Wishing you all the best of luck from me and Reggie. Hi, everyone. Sarah Sathma here from the co-op program. I wanted to wish you all the biggest congratulations on your graduation. Uh, it's been really wonderful getting to know those of you that have come through the co-op program. And so I really hope that you'll be able to uh, keep in touch I'd love to hear where your careers go moving forward. Um, once again, congratulations, and I hope that you're able to celebrate in a really special way with your close friends and family. Hi, everybody. My name is Frédéric Lesage. I'm associate professor in the School of Communication and the undergraduate chair. I just want to congratulate all our grads. Well done, and best of luck to all of you now that you're in the real world. Here's something for you guys. Congratulations. Congratulations. Well, thank That's you awesome. everyone. Thank you for the video. And uh, now we are just going to start wrapping up because we have to go to the pre ceremony and go to the convocation ceremony that everyone is excited for. Okay, am I frozen? Because everyone is frozen for me. Oh no. There you go. Okay, yeah. Okay, Zoom glitches. All right, sorry about that. Okay, so uh, thank you all for attending the pre-ceremony uh, pre party and the uh, link for the ceremony is uh, in the chat. Please click on it and hop onto YouTube channel to watch the ceremony. Remember to join us on Kumu Space for after party. Uh, and uh, there will be more prizes to win there. So please do attend that and all the links will be available in the chat. Awesome. Well, thank you everyone for sharing your memories and for joining us before the ceremony. Congratulations on graduating. Yeah, congratulations everyone.